Or like, don't, don't jack off to something, I don't know. Don't jack off to the topic, to the topic at hand. We should really make this a party video. We should just start off. We should start just talking about jacking off. Alright, anyways. What the hell? We are talking about the hat, I hope you know. I, I know that's what we're talking about because I started it. I started this YouTube channel. You have two million. I have two million subscribers. This is my YouTube channel. Alright, starting the real video. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Rock on the Reaction Vote. Um, I'm laughing because we had to restart, uh, or not restart, but like, we had a reaction, but we didn't like it, so we're doing another one. We've had like three of those. Um, say hi, Ren, for from of the reaction boat. Um, <laughs> dear God, alright, so we're reacting to the Odds One Out comic. Uh, I've been subscribed to him since like 500k. What are you laughing about? Is it the oh, video title? Oh, too early, hold on. <laughs> okay. Keep talking. Anyways, the Odds One Out comic. Go subscribe to the Odds One Out comic. Show him some love. Uh, he's a really good YouTuber. Uh, he just does little vlogs and he animates them for about six or seven or eight minutes. So really good, really good. Um, anyways, uh, do you know anything about the Odds One Out comic? Well, I do know that he's similar to YouTubers I am familiar with, like Domix and Swoozy. Yeah, Swoozy. Uh, his name's James. He's from Arizona. So. Uh, go subscribe to him. Yeah, also, not like Arizona, not like Arizona. <laughs> oh dear God! It's a cold place too. Sometimes. Give us, a, give us, a, give us anything except for a little Yachty song to react to, and uh, we'll, we'll think about it and try to react to it. Uh, just post it down in the comments below, and we'll, we'll, we'll try to get some rock in the reaction boat in for you. So, anyways, we're reacting to a video called "Our Hamsters," released about a month ago. Uh, hey, Remy, what do you know about hamsters? Uh, who is it about? I wonder. Uh, can't be about Dan and Phil. Ah, oh, Dan. Uh, Dan is not on fire, and Phil, whatever the hell his YouTube channel name is, because I don't, I rarely watch them. But uh, yeah, Dan and Phil. I think they had a fanfic about them called uh, uh what was it called? I believe it had to do with uh, maybe the hat. I think it's like the fedora. No, the, the you're right. The fedora, the fedora, that was it. No, no, no. no it You're was, right. it was the hat. So uh, that, that's, that's why we picked this video out. I, I don't know. I've already seen this video, um, about a week ago. It's about, about, about a week ago, a week ago. Fuck with us and then we tweaking, ho, tweaking, ho. Run up on that nigga, get the squeezing, ho. But uh, do not edit that song in, please. Anyways. Uh -huh, now I have to. <laughs> Rip. Anyways, so uh, we're reacting to this video. It's about eight minutes long. Let's just get right into the video in three, two, one, go. Hey, just a heads up, don't get too attached to any of the hamsters mentioned in this video. Didn't plan on it. Because they're all dead. And I would say that no hamsters were harmed in the making of this video. Well, I mean, no hamsters were harmed while I made this video. They're all still dead, but some hamster... <laughs> this reminds me of oh. the... This reminds me of this one PSA in <laughs> Smoking Kills, and there's this, uh, this dude's looking for a cigarette box, and he sees that he's done it, like, he, he's working on this floor, and he's putting a carpet down on it, and he sees, like, the cigarette box under the, uh, carpet, so he steps on it, and then the mom comes in and is like, oh, this is yours, and hands him the cigarette box, and then his daughter comes in and is like, have you seen my hamster? And then you just see blood on the carpet. <laughs> They got harmed. Just keep watching. If there's anything I've learned that the internet just loves is stupid drama and King cute Star. animals. So I'm going to talk about all the cute hamsters that I've enslaved. Our family enslaved quite a lot. It was my twin sister who really wanted a pet hamster and bugged my mom to get one. And my mom, being super nice, bought her the cage and we bought everything else, including a little black hamster. We named him Squeaks. And he liked to do this really cute thing where he put all of his food in his hamster wheel and it was made of plastic so he could do that. And then late at night he would just run in it and it would sound like... It was like a more annoying maraca. I actually made a comic on paper inspired by this hamster. Wow, you got a hamster? Yeah, but he doesn't do much. Well, yeah, this type of hamster is nocturnal. Really? That means I'll hardly notice him. 
And then at night, he's trying to sleep, but the hamster is loud, and that's keeping him awake. And the joke is that he said he hardly knows him. And he's not it's not that funny. And I need to tell you about a dog that we have named Georgie. And actually, a fun fact about Georgie. She was born on Election Day of 2004, which is a much cooler holiday to have a birthday on. It only comes once every four years. It's like leap year. It's more rare. So since George W. Bush won the 2004 election, we named our dog Georgie after him. Aww. And that also means that our 12th birthday was on the 2nd. I definitely won't be able to get this video out by that time. But still, happy birthday. Day to you. Yay! That's Georgie true. can get the birthday, because it's her birthday, and Poppy can get the girl, because it's she's a girl. Do you like it? I wonder if this taste is good. Oh. Anyway, back to rodents. This dog just loved to murder these animals. Well, I don't know if murder's the right word. No, murder's the right word. You have to understand that Georgie is a West Highland Terrier, and that breed is known for hunting small animals. So having Georgie and a hamster in the same house does... Huh? Just like George Bush. Exactly. They're so alike. They were both elected on election day. Well. We had this little plastic hamster ball that we put squeaks in sometimes. The first time we put squeaks into his plastic ball, my older brother bowled him like a bowling ball. Either of them, I was being poorly. And Georgie thought it was a trick. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Yeah. Peter, don't sue me. I'd be, I went vegan for a week. Just for her. A treat with a hard outer shell and a juicy middle. She would go straight up rabid wolf on that hamster ball. We didn't put squeaks inside his hamster ball anymore after that. But there's <laughs> even more to say about this hamster. One oh, day, wow. me and my sister spotty. came home from school and squeaks was just gone. He escaped. Everyone check your pockets! We looked everywhere and we couldn't find him. We had to keep a close eye on Georgie at all times. My sister put up <laughs> missing posters around the house. I don't know if those helped. We made Why? these traps Why? out of Duplo. Did anyone else's parents get them Duplo Dude. instead of of Legos? No? Only my parents were that lame? Alright. Okay, let's do it. Do you not know what Duplo is? No. We're gonna have to react to two some Duplo ads after that. <laughs> it's a knock-on it's a knock on version after I thought those mega blocks. That that might be what they are. No, I don't think like uh mega blocks are made by Duplo. I think those that's a separate company in itself. Anyways, yeah. I never got the fascination with Duplo or Legos. I I did not care about either of those. I didn't care about building things. I guess I was never meant to be an architect. Or an engineer. What about you? Shut up. Uh, I had Legos. I was gonna be a biomedical engineer. So. That's really be creative. I know, right? Uh, Markiplier, he, he, he doesn't know anything about this channel. We're gonna keep it that way. Anyways, um. But yeah, uh. I never got the thrill of engineer, not engineering, architecture. So I would always make a very, very large scale. You know, like I, I would make buildings. I wouldn't just put hundreds of pieces together to make something small. Like I would make countries. Now, that scale. now I do like the Lego Movie. That was an amazing. We. Um, I didn't. You did not like the Lego Movie. I didn't see all of it. It's just something our teacher put on. Uh, Years ago. Two years ago, yeah. Like after exams, yeah. But but it was a good movie overall. I did not plan on going. To, I didn't plan on seeing it, and then he played it in class, and I was just like, wow, this is interesting. And then it got really, really heart crushing. I'm gonna make a review on it soon. I actually plan on doing that. So. Oh wow. Good thing this top is here. Right? I really loved it. So. Starting the video back. Built this box thing out of Duplo, and we made these stairs going up to the top of the box, and we put lettuce on each step. And the plan was that the hamster would walk up the stairs and fall in the box because they're stupid. But the traps never worked, and all the hamsters we got in the future that also escaped, we made the same traps, and not once did they ever work. Four days. Wow. Squeaks was missing for four days. We found his body inside the wall. He was alive. My dad was sitting on the couch relaxing. <laughs> it was dead quiet. <laughs> That reminds me of that story about the squirrels being in the wall. Oh that, yeah, we had a squirrel infestation a few months ago. Oh, you're, oh wait, you're talking about it, school. I'm talking about this one girl in her class. I don't know if she wants to be named or not, because I don't, I don't know if she watches these YouTube videos. But anyways, she said that she had squirrels, and then the squirrels got like, when they moved, they went inside the wall. Like, and so they got stuck in the wall, and she had them as like pets. 
Anyways, you're talking about the squirrel infestation at our school. Uh, yeah. Wait, are you talking about the one that, like, lives in Beep and, uh... Yeah. Has had, like, pet squirrels, like, pet raccoons and Yes, stuff? yeah. Yeah, that's who I'm talking about. Welcome to Mississippi, everybody. Yeah, welcome to Mississippi. Um, not all of us are that redneck, but, uh... No, I live uh, in the city. Yeah, I live in the city too. Uh, I, I don't live as far into the city as him, but I, I live for, I live in the city. I, I'm pretty. If we were doing this based off of Duck Dynasty, which I I used to watch, uh, I'd be a yuppie. J- just don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about. It. I don't like it anymore because of what Phil said. But uh, anyways, uh, so but we also had a squirrel. Inf- oh God, are we gonna have to put that? Are we are we making this a meme? Anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, because only you and I are going to get that, and maybe a select few of people. And, like, actually three people in the world. In the, in, and we're two of them. Anyways, um, oh yeah, our squirrel infestation at school, so, uh, squirrels got in our school somehow, and, um, our, what, what do we call them, vice principal? Yeah, our vice principal. Yeah, okay. Our vice principal decided it'd be a good idea instead of trying to catch them and let them back into the wild where they roam free. Well, that would be hard, and that would create a distraction. Who cares? A squirrel's in a squirrel's in the school. Killing them makes. Well, I already spoiled the great story. When I, you were already in the seventh period classroom, I was getting there, and everyone ran out in the hallway. I was like screaming because yes. they said they saw one. Yeah, there was like five of us in the classroom, and then Miss Shaw, yeah, and then our see, teacher. Because they got like run over by ten people, or however many people. I didn't see it because, well, I mean, I was in the classroom, and then everyone else zoomed out before I did because I was everyone just walking. Screaming and running, you would just thought there was like a fire. Yeah, I mean, I thought something happened, like someone passed out, because that actually happens normally at our school now. It's happened like ten times. Really? Yes. Didn't, now, it was like the same two or three people over and over again, and I know someone has oh, like a problem. Oh, last year. Well, no, no this, year, this year too. One of the seniors. I'll tell you about it after. But, uh, right. but, uh, yeah. Uh... We had a squirrel infestation, and our vice principal decided we'd just kill the squirrels with his foot, and he'd just step on it instead of, like, you know, trying to do something about it. <laughs> luckily, PETA wasn't at our school, because, uh... He was only following orders. From who? Our principal? It was a joke. Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> I was about to say, who gave him those orders? <laughs> and then, uh, our Latin class decided, since we take, but we both take Latin, we decided, uh, we would, uh go and uh, say we would start a Save the Squirrels campaign. I, I made signs. Yeah, you, you and like two other people. I, I had a hashtag bring back our squirrels, like instead of bring back our girls. Uh-huh. Let's bring back our girls. Poco Haram. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I remember that now. Why, why would you parody that? Because that's a... it's two years old and they saved them all. Wait, did they? I thought they... Yeah. No, they didn't. And the, the group Poco Haram, like I heard about it a few days ago, it's like going out, like, they're taking him down. The girls? No, the terrorist oh. group Boko Haram in Nigeria. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you meant they were taking the girl. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> no. Anyways, back to the video. I don't, how do we get to Boko Haram from fucking <laughs> hamsters? Oh, we went from hamsters to Boko Haram. <laughs> this is how crazy that these reactions can get. This episode hamsters to Boko Haram. <laughs> hamsters to Boko Haram. <laughs> you can <put> watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whatever. Starting the video back in 3, 2, 1. He just heard the faintest. Squeaks was inside the wall. We think he got in through our laundry chute. I don't know what I would do if my kids' hamster was inside the, the wall of my house. Oh, well, yeah. kids, now is an important time I teach you about cats. Yeah. My dad ended up shot. cutting three holes in the wall and lured Squeaks out with some lettuce. Poor thing, he was probably, probably starving. Like the lettuce. Hopefully, he kept some extra food in his cheeks. So even being tormented by the dog and getting stuck in the wall for four days, Squeaks still lived a fulfilling two years of life. <laughs> Hamsters don't have that long a lifespan. Yeah, is that long for a hamster? Two years? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I thought you'd know something about hamsters. You seem to know. You know, a, you know a little about a lot of things, and I know a lot about a little things. Yeah. 
So, I, I don't know, I'd figured you'd know that. So, back to the video. No, but I do know that, uh, most rodents can't throw up, so that's why they die so quickly. Really? They can't throw up? That's interesting. No. I learned something today. That's what I want from these reactions, I want to learn something. Back to the video. <laughs> After the Squeaks Dynasty, we got some more hamsters. Yay. Squeaks 2, that was the next one. We thought maybe if we introduced Squeaks 2 to Georgie, that no. they could be friends and get along. <laughs> I'll spare you the details of what happened that day. The next one we named Killer. Oh shit, kept... that one just died in a night. <laughs> oh, rip. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for uh, stress. I'm still waiting for strike. That doesn't even look like a hamster. That does not look like a hamster. But that, that's why it's called Killer. <laughs> That looks absolutely nothing like the other two. <laughs> well, that's because that one is a killer. See, killer. Fighting us, so get it? Killer? Yeah, he ended up getting killed. Nah, I'm just kidding. He wasn't killed. He lived a long and normal hamster life. Squeaks 2 was killed, though. I don't know if you picked up on that. You bought these three little hamsters? Seriously? The Those are cute. They look like the things from Wee Bear Bears. Yeah, they actually look like hamsters. That, <laughs> that too. They're the most adorable little things. They look like kids. I forgot their names. We'll just call them. Why not? <laughs> it, it just it looks different. Wait a second. It looks angry and big. How, how do you spell amigos? Is it E S? They're so E. Okay, I, I guess someone mistranslated that. Anyways, back to the video. Them, the three amigos. Aww. The lady at the pet store told us that if we bought hamsters from the same litter, they would all get along. She was obviously just trying to sell us more hamsters. Or maybe she didn't have any siblings. But these probes just hated each other. They would never stop fighting. As I was writing the script for this, I thought, well, maybe they were just aggressively playing. So I googled, do hamsters play with each other? Just to be sure. And the first thing that showed up, dwarf hamsters, which is what the three amigos were, are quite territorial and will not see former cage mates as old friends. They see them as threatening rivals. So there well, we man. go. You really know your hamsters, lady. So we had to get three different cages for them. We Jesus. put them right next to each other and I swear they still gave each other some death glares. I actually made a video a long time ago about this time I broke one of their cages. I was cleaning it outside and for whatever reason I was like, huh, I wonder if I could stand on it. The That's answer, stupid. no, I couldn't. The glass <laughs> broke and I bled everywhere. I still have the scar on my foot. And then all the three amigos died off. One by one. Sorry, I'm getting really emotional. We also had this other Big hamster time. named Buddy, and I wasn't going to mention him because he just escaped and we never found him. Except as my mom was reading over the script, because she reads over my scripts, thanks mom, she turned to me and said, Did we ever tell you what happened to Buddy? Oh, and I no. said, What do you mean? She said, You know how we couldn't find him? Well, we did, but the dog got to him first. <laughs> this one time I wanted to buy a hamster, and I saw some that were on sale, and there was this piece of paper next to the cage that said, Please adopt us. Oh, shoot, I'll take one of these puppies. No, no, not an actual puppy. I, I meant one of the hamsters. And I named her Pumpkin Seed because she was that tan pumpkin seed color. But then one month after I got her, she just died for no reason. <laughs> Even though I loved her, she had <laughs> It's like one of those goldfish that you get that just like die in like two days. I never okay. had a I had a, I had like I ten think of them. It was like a, a pepper catfish that lived for twenty eight days. <laughs> twenty eight days? A, a whole a whole February month. I think it was like in July. Anyway. Well, whatever. Not February. Back to video. Food, check, water. This wasn't the first time I was taking care of a hamster, okay? All the other ones lived for a couple of years. I was so sad. I totally got gypped. No wonder they were on sale. They were what does gypped mean? Ripped off. Okay. Oh, halfway to death's door. I mean, I only had the hamster for a month. I, I didn't get that emotionally attached to it. But then later, I got a different hamster that I paid full price for, and I named her Gumball. Unlike all the other hamsters that were technically my sisters, this hamster was all mine. And she didn't have anything dramatic happen to her. She had a good hamster life. I was pretty yeah. sad when Gumball died. We lavish these hamsters, okay? We love them. At least my sister did. She cried when they died and made little gravestones for them. Our mom used to always say, there's no point in being a skinny hamster. She gave them a lot of treats. So much so that it got to the point that the hamster would come out looking for my mom just by the sound of her voice. All in all, there's about seven dead hamsters buried in our backyard. Rip in peace, little bros. Oh, Jose, can you see Um, he's a good singer. Good singer. Look at 
What is this fan art? Were any of your pet hamsters brutally murdered by your dog? Tell me in the comment box below. Oh, so, were any of your pet hamsters brutally murdered by your dog? I did not have any. Neither did I. I had one dog. And she died of cancer like four years ago. So yay, lady. Rip, love you. Oh, thanks for watching. Sorry you had to hear me sing. Man, Georgia trivia thing too. Shout out to my first cat who ran away in 2010. <laughs> you had a cat run away. My cat probably still misses you too. <laughs> I love you. No, you don't. You turned 12 this month. What is that, 200 in human years? I have this kind of quick story to make this end card longer, but one time I was with some group of people that I didn't know too well, and I was talking to someone telling him the story about how Georgie was named after George W. Bush, and after I told him that, he said, Oh, I'd kill that dog. <laughs> Alright, man, that was a pretty weird thing to say. Before I say wear your seatbelt, I just want to say hi to... name it the dog Barack. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Therefore, Bush was a better president. <laughs> no. That's not how that works. Jacob, Josh, and Jason. <laughs> Alright, that's all. Wear your seatbelt. And now for the presents. Oh, yeah, this is what you like to do to hamsters. <laughs> Alright. We actually recorded a full reaction. I'm shocked. Besides, like, the last one, which was really good that we did in one take, and it was amazing. But, uh, yeah, this has been fun. Uh, that was Our Hamsters by the Odds Went Out comic. I enjoyed the video. What'd you think about the video? Oh, that was a good video. I mostly enjoyed more of the, uh, Con discussions that it prompted. Yeah. So, uh, and that's, it, it, these are thought-provoking videos. But comment down some videos that you'd like to see us react to. Uh, Rim, thanks for being here with uh, Rock and the Reaction Boat. This series, we love it, so uh, we're going to try and make some more of it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You're supposed to say bye. Bye. Okay. Press the, the yellow.